Hey everyone, Josh here with Fresh Start Customs and today we're going to be our own amateur meteorologist together and we're going to be using this home weather machine that Viver sent me. We're going to do a real quick unboxing. came in this basic box here. I did take a sneak peek and as you can see it's just a basic brown cardboard box. You have your pamphlets that come with it, the unit itself, the adapter for like a pole or the side of your building. I was thinking about putting it on the side of my shed. I may do that long term, but for this video, I went out and bought like an eight foot wooden pole that we're gonna put it on. You'll see that here in just a second. You got your wind direction gauge. You also have your rain cup here and your weather speed uh, cups in here as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and assemble this off camera. The instructions that I took a sneak peek at look super simple. Um, I'll go ahead and give you a basic rundown of what that looks like when I can actually have this assembled here. I don't want to bore you too much with that. So I'm going to assemble this off camera and then we'll see you there and we're going to get a closer look at this thing. All right, you guys. So as you can see, we have now assembled this off camera here. It's super easy to assemble. This is probably the easiest thing I've ever assembled in my life. Uh, the reason why is they actually have everything labeled here with stickers. So right here is your wind cup indicator. You just slide that on, there's a flat part and you just screw down the screw right on the flat part of that rod. And same thing with the wind direction device here, uh, same exact way. And then the cup on the back for your rain gauge just slides into place and then locks in. Super easy, you cannot mess this up. I'm telling you, you cannot mess this up. They even have a little quick start pamphlet as well as a detailed pamphlet as well. Right here's all of the instructions super easy to do i promise you you guys can handle this on your own uh, the most tricky part of this whole thing here was uh, getting it connected to wi-fi so to have it connected to wi-fi you do need the power to the wall plugged in i have that plugged in right now and this is the display of the unit so you need to actually hold down this uh uh, barometric button here for about three seconds until it flashes AP mode which is going to let you connect to Wi-Fi using like a tablet or a phone. I'm not going to show you the full setup of Wi-Fi because it requires my Wi-Fi password, my station ID, the password for the website but they do walk through step by step on how to do this on the um, instruction booklet as well. I just was going to show you this launch page after you're connected directly to the Wi-Fi of this unit here. But that is a pretty simple process. That's only if you want the, the ability to see your weather outside of your home. I'm probably never gonna use this, but I went ahead and set it up already. The nice thing about setting it up through Wi-Fi is it automatically sets up your time zone for you um, versus you manually going through and setting up the time zone. So that's a benefit, but I'll probably never use the Wi-Fi portion of this but that's totally your call. With that said, I also wanted to show you guys this um, screen really quick. This is super cool. You have multiple options. So right here is like your wind speed. Obviously it's gonna say zero, we're inside right now, and it shows the direction um, the wind is going, which is this direction here. Uh, and then you can click on wind again, and it'll show you gust of wind, or it'll show you the direction the wind is going here. So all of these have these different functions. So your Barometric measurements here is either absolute or relative. And then you have the option to go with like your rain and that'll show you hourly, daily, weekly, monthly, total, the event or rate. So there's just a huge amount of um, information here. And the reason why it's showing a little bit is because I've been moving this around and it thinks it's raining there, but it's not. <laughs> um, and then you also have like different sensors in this thing. So you have like your UV light sensor on top here. And like I said, this is your wind cup. So this will detect the wind. You have the wind direction and your rain cup here as well. The rain cup will have to point north. So make sure you point north on that. Um, you also have this uh, metal bar on the bottom here that can pivot. And then whenever you get in the right position, you can just tighten down the four screws. Um, we're going to do that here in a second when I get this on the pole outside. Um, and then there's even a bubble level there. So you want to make sure that that bubble levels out whenever you're mounting it like this. And then you can mount it in place like we're going to do on this pole in just a moment here. 
overall this is a super cool unit it's a uh, less inexpensive than um, some other units similar to this the other thing that I wanted to notate is they even put like a little warning label on the cellular um, solar panel here so what you need to do is you need to take this apart and then connect a battery that's in here before pulling this off I went ahead and connected my battery already and then you can pull this off before you mount it here and last but not least you have the actual mounting clamps here so these are gonna go on our pole and they even have like this little um, rubber here that you can stick on the pole too so it helps stick my pole um, ends up fitting perfectly in this so I don't think I'll need that but you're just gonna clamp that around it and then you're gonna mount your uh, metal rod through here and then that's gonna just sit on your pole. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna do that off camera as well because that's like an eight foot pole. It's gonna be a project all in itself here. And then we're gonna come back in here and see the readings. But uh, I think you guys get the gist of it here. Super cool product. I hope you guys like the video and I hope you check it out here. All right, you guys. So as you can see, we got the uh, weather machine set up on this pole right here. We just got it going into the ground and then kind of in the middle of our yard. And we're going to be doing a long-term position on this building all the way up top here, but I don't have a ladder tall enough, so we'll do that later. But um, for this video, I think this pole over here is going to be sufficient. Um, so we're going to go back inside and see if we can see any readings here. All right, you guys. So now that we're back inside, after we put it on that temporary pole, you can see that we barely have any wind going at all. Sometimes it shows zero, sometimes it shows like 1.8 we're barely got any wind going at all right now it is late at night here um, it says it's 80 outside it's 70 in here uh, this thing like i showed you before it is, has all sorts of different options if you click like wind or rain like the current gust of wind right now is 0.9 um, your wind direction right here is 272 degrees you have the option to change like your rain, like I showed you before, to daily, uh, weekly, monthly, total, the event, um, or the rate that it's going. Right now it's inaccurate because that was like a fake thing that I set up by hand just to trigger it here to show you a rain amount here. Um, and then you have your barometric um, option as well. And I already showed you that earlier. And then we have the UV light rating of a 0.11 right now. And then it shows you the current forecast is uh, slightly sunny with a little bit of clouds. That's gonna change soon, I would suspect, since it's getting pretty dark outside here. Um, and then it shows you your um, moon um, crescent here as well, like your moon phases as well. So this thing overall is really cool, a uh, really cool feature to have here. Um, you also have the ability to dim this at night if you want to. Now this dimming mode only works on the cord here. So if you unplug this from the cord, it's gonna go to the battery. Let me see if I can get the cord unplugged one-handed here. And then it's gonna go dim here, but you can turn it back on with the battery, but it'll have a countdown timer, and this is gonna automatically dim on the battery on its own here. So just keep that in mind. This will auto dim. Um, with the battery so you want to leave this plugged in if possible see it just dimmed there I'm gonna plug it back in so we have the dim features again that will not work on battery that'll just be an on and off switch at that point but other than that if you guys are interested in this uh, check it out with the links down in the description below and we'll catch you guys in the next one